to break up fights. Some of the teachers hurt at Maury High School ended up needing medical attention. Nine staff members, including an assistant principal, report getting hurt breaking up a number of fights this year. 13 News reporter Patrick Terpstra is live in Norfolk. And Patrick, the principal says, fed up. That's right. Today, the principal actually sent a letter home to parents telling them to talk to their students about not fighting, saying things have gotten out of hand. The same principal also sent an email out to staff yesterday telling them to stay out of those fights. One teacher was thrown down on concrete. Another one was hit in the head so hard by a student he needed medical treatment. But this year, everyone's just been going insane. Another teacher jammed her finger trying to break up a fight while still another teacher needed medical help after falling on her head while running from fighting students. This year, which began less than a month ago, seven teachers, one assistant principal and one security officer at Maury, have been hurt getting too close to fights. I think it's unprecedented and, and it does seem to be somewhat cyclic. Um, having been a high school principal myself, I've it seemed like some years went very, very smoothly, and other years you had some challenges. On Wednesday, five staff members were hurt trying to split two students apart. The next day, the principal sent an email to teachers telling them not to try breaking up a fight. But the head of Norfolk's Federation of Teachers says it's instinct to intervene. It's hard to ignore that tendency to want to help, but we urge people uh, to uh, call for assistance versus breaking up the fight themselves. Now, of all of those teachers hurt at Maury this year, four of them have needed outpatient medical treatment, but all of them have been able to return to work. The school system says they take this very seriously. Anybody who is caught fighting gets an automatic suspension, and if they end up hurting a teacher, it can be worse, up to expulsion. Reporting live tonight, Norfolk, Patrick Terps for 13 News. Police in Norfolk are on the lookout for the suspect in an early morning shoot.